All right, what is up, everyone? I have something completely cool to talk about today, at least in my opinion. This is the Skiff Made Blades Accomplice. So a little bit about Skiff Made Blades. They are here in New York. Well, I'm not in New York, but they are in the United States, and they are in New York, and this card is a little bit beat up. So, yeah, you know, I'll put a link down below. Steve Skiff came up with this very cool knife. The coolest part about it is all of the milling. So we're going to spend a lot of time just kind of talking about that. And I've done another video on Skiff. Uh, it was on the Drifter. And when I did the unboxing of this particular one, this is the Accomplice version 2, I called it a Drifter because I'm not super familiar with them. And I'll put a link up or I'll put a picture right up here of the Drifter. It's a little bit different blade shape. And its size is a little bit different. And we're going to talk a, slightly about that. But really what I want to talk about is this milling. Okay, the blade is beautiful. CPM 154, hand rub satin. I love most everything about these knives. Okay, not everything. But the milling more than makes up for its downfalls for the most part. Uh, this comes to me from a good friend of mine, Joseph, who is in law enforcement. And so the the blue just works great in that whole, you know, knowing that he is in law enforcement. But he tells me that this is almost too nice to actually carry and use on duty because he doesn't want to mess it up. I get that. But this one is just really a good shape a good size and would do great work if he needed to use it. But yes, you're going to mess things up when you're using your tools and that's okay. It's okay to mess your stuff up. Like use your junk, collect your junk, however you want to do it. I use my stuff. I'm moving right now. I've talked about that a little bit. I just bought a house and um, I was using this over there the other day, the RJ Martin Q36. And it's got some tape and stuff on here, but on the tip, I did what you're not supposed to do. I did a, just a little pry. It was supposed to just move the thing, as, like a, it was supposed to be super light, super easy to just move, but I couldn't get my finger in the little crevice, and it just chipped just a little bit right there barely but it happens you can see a little bit better there just right on the tip it's not too bad you really have to look for it or the light has to catch it just right was i bummed yeah sure for a second more so at myself for being a dumbass okay it happens so I get it. When we are carrying works of art that are functional, we may do some damage. And it doesn't matter what the cost is. The RJ Martin was like three, just over three grand. Eh. I carried it a lot and used it a lot. And so it's a little dinged up, whatever. My Todd Fisher Sr., Archangel has several little chips out of it just from use. So I'll get the blade redone, like whatever. I'll send the, the Q36 out to get sharpened and it'll make that flat. You know, it'll, it'll take care of it so it's not dangerous or whatnot. So the flipper tab on this one is the only real negative I have about these knives. And I had the same thing on the Drifter. Thing fires like a freaking rocket. But the flipper tab is just a hair uncomfortable. It could be rounded slightly. It's kind of chamfered. So it's not hard edges, but it is just a little bit uncomfortable for me. Other than that, my God, this thing fits in your hand really well. It feels good with the milling. I like this kind of wavy pattern of milling and it's not just one direction because I've had some other knives that are milled like that with just kind of one direction. And when you grab it from your pocket, sometimes it will 
you're, you will shift one way or the other because of the milling pattern. This one though, when you grab from your pocket, it works great. There is a little, you're not, I don't know if you can really tell, but under the pocket clip, it is smooth. It's not milled right under the tip where that pocket clip comes down. You can kind of tell right in there. It is smooth under the pocket clip. So that helps aid in uh, inserting and removing the knife from your pocket. I think it's an awesome knife. I think they're great because they're made in the United States. I think it looks fantastic. It is almost a little bit too much milling for me. The fact that they the pivot collars are milled in perfectly to match is just amazing. And I said that on my other drifter videos. Um, I think it's a great knife. Four and three quarters closed, eight and a quarter overall, 3.5 inch, 3.57 inch blade, CPM 154. Uh, it obviously runs on skiff bearings. And because this is a version two, the main difference is the crazy, crazy internal milling on both sides. There's some pockets down below the lock bar to help keep this thing lighter weight. It still comes in at five ounces, the same as your D cell battery. The drifter is a little bit shorter with a little bit different blade shape as I showed earlier. And I will also put a link to that drifter video up in the corner. Here it is with the Spyderco, the Sharpie, the Kubi, and because we're here and I can, how about with the um, VC Edge interface and a side by side with the RJ Martin? The Martin is just a great knife. I carry this one a lot. It's thin, it's lighter weight, it works great in any pocket that I have. Sometimes you have a knife that doesn't really fit this particular pair of jeans because maybe they're a little thicker. Like today I have 511 tactical jeans on that I like, but they have a little bit of extra material there on the, the, the hem or the seam of your jeans. This knife works great in it. A, a lot of my other knives, they just won't go in very well. So yeah, the Q36 works fantastic in all my pockets and it's just a workhorse and it's magna cut. So it's going to stay sharp for a long time if I don't, you know, damage the blade too, too much. So anyway, there you go, guys. What do you think about the skiff made blade knives? They're freaking awesome. You tell me down below your thoughts. And Joseph, as always, thanks for sending this in.